while protesters taking to the streets once again over unpaid contracts. Our Laurencia Smith was there as the drama unfolded today. Tensions among protest workers from both sides of the political divide reaching its boiling point this morning. For the eighth consecutive week, contractors who remain unpaid took their cries to the parks and beaches headquarters. The group making it no secret that they were attached to the free national movement this morning was confronted by supporters of the governing Progressive Liberal Party. <laughs> Those supporting the government said, in their view, it was unfair for those contractors to be paid. This after it was revealed that many of the contractors did not have the proper documentation. We come up here to stand up with the, the right um, chairman of this, this board. We come here to stand up with them, to let them know, let them know that the, the devil is a liar. These people will not eat from what we're eating from. But still, every other week you find these persons of the free national movement coming here talking about monies. What money does the government owe them? Is anything they owe the government money? The supporters continue going back and forth, taunting one another, prompting the senior officers to the scene to disband the commotion. I'm not wearing no political colors. We didn't come here to play politics. We come here to get what is owed to us because there's a legally binding contract between the contractors and the government of the, of the Bahamas. So we ain't got time for him. And when we were the government of the Bahamas, we paid PLPs. At one point, the chairman stepped out and invited the spokesman for the group, Richard Johnson, for a meeting. 20 minutes later, Johnson telling Eyewitness News about the meeting between he and the chairman, which he says the group was content on how the meeting went. And for now, all protesting has ceased. Um, for the last eight times we've been protesting, the executive chairman have, he have heard um, some of our issues and concerns. Uh, he is willing to sit down with us, which we did this morning, to, to bring some resolve to this matter. So I could say this morning we are satisfied with those discussions. The protesters will be um, briefed uh, as we finish here, but I think this morning we had a good discussion. Eyewitness News attempted to reach out to Barnaby to respond, but was unsuccessful up until news time. Laurentia Smith, Eyewitness News.